Hey, what's up, SaaS Masters? My name is George, and today I'm going to be showing you one of the fastest website builders out there, and it's called Oxygen Builder. So in this video, we're going to be doing some tests with the Oxygen Builder plugin installed from scratch and with a template loaded so you can see the difference of a website, how fast it actually loads with Oxygen Builder. Now, one of the downsides about Oxygen Builder is the lack of templates and sections that they have. So in this video, we're going to be also adding another plugin that's called Oxy Ninja, which gives you a whole bunch of sections that you can add and just complete your website faster than you would do just with Oxygen Builder. So this combination of plugins are really good. So Let's go jump over to the website of Oxygen Builder so you can check out the price and then we jump over to WordPress speeds. Let's go. All right, this is Oxygen Builder site and one of the things I want to show you is the pricing because it's really good. So basically you could get unlimited sites with the Oxygen Builder for lifetime and lifetime support for $99. Now if you plan on using WooCommerce, then I recommend you jump into WooCommerce. You get both the Oxygen Builder and the WooCommerce Builder for $149. And if you are an agency, then I recommend this one because it also includes the edit mode and then includes the, the, the Gutenberg block builder for 169. Now the prices that you're looking at are as of this video. So that means consider subscribing so you get the alerts as soon as they come out. So that price might change later on. And the other plugin that I installed is the Oxy Ninja, which gives you a bunch of sections that you can add more and it just saves you a lot of time building sites. So you get 160 plus sites, uh, sections, and this one is 99 euros. And if you want the WooCommerce core also, it's 109 euros. And if you want to grab the combo, it's 178. Again, prices are as of this video. If you guys want to grab it, the link will be in the description. They are not affiliate links. They just go straight to their site. Okay, what have I done in my site? In my site, I installed Oxygen and I installed Oxy Ninja, both of these plugins, and I installed the license. So that's all I've done. And I'm going to show you the page speed for those. We don't, we're not going to waste time running those again. Um, you get an A, 99 grade. It loaded at 655 milliseconds, so that's not even a second. And there's only four requests. How is this possible? Well, Oxygen Builder actually removes, well, it disables the theme that you have installed on WordPress. So everything works inside of the Oxygen Builder plugin, which is a really unique thing. Um, the GT metrics that I've got, for example, again, 600 milliseconds and page speed insights from Google, 100%. Okay, so that's for that. What are we going to do first? Let's actually load a template and run the speeds again because we actually want to see how this actually works. So let's go into Oxygen and this is something you would need to do. So basically, these are the steps that you would follow. So let's install a website if you were to install a template, right? We're going to install a website from Oxygen. All right, and we can choose any one of the templates that they have available. Now, like I said before, they lack in this field to have a lot of templates. This is all they have. But um, the one that they try to install by default is Atomic. Why? Because obviously it's the fastest one. So we are not going to install the default one. Let's choose a different one. For example, let's grab this BNB. All right, let's confirm and install. And it's going to load in all the the things that we need for that website, and it's going to look just like that. It's going to load the home page, the blog, the contact form, just everything that was in that template, it'll load it in. So let's wait for that to load. Okay, so now the website was installed successfully. Now, heads up, this is not fully finished. Let me take you to the site, and it's it's going to load like this because we haven't set what will be the home page. So to do that, let's go into settings, reading. Let's select the static page. Let's select the home page. Let's save it. And now this should be our home page. So let's load that. And there it is. There's the home page. So let's go ahead and run the test again. So let's run these tests. All right. Let's run this other one and run that one again. That might vary a little bit on, on speed because I'm loading all three, but you will get the point that this is fast because you'll see the options right here. All right, so that one finished, pinged and finished. Let's see. We got a 91 score. Um, the page size is 10.7 megabytes, which is huge. The images are really big from the template, but they are loading from a CDN. What does that mean? It's not loading from my server. It's loading on, it's offloading from another server. So, but it's still loaded 1.61 seconds. So that's less than two seconds for loading this site and it jumped to 36 requests right here. DT metrics, we got a D on this one. That's probably because I load at the same time. Let's do it again. That's a crazy one. Page speed, 
um, for Google, 77. That looks fairly close, but space speed 4.8 seconds, still too much. Let's wait for that to this one to load again. That way they're not loading at the same time and they don't suffer any server um, load for the page speed to make it even fairer, right? All right, that should be finishing off. And okay, now it's now it's the normal one. So greatest V, performance 88, structure 88. Uh, 1.2 seconds, the largest colorful paint. And total blocking time, 47 seconds. Total, I think it was like 1.4 seconds from what I can see. 1.2 seconds. Oh, that's there, 1.3 seconds. So again, it's telling me that I have the images are really big, and this is obvious, images with 2.26 megabytes, but again, they're not loading from my server, they're loading from this website. So that saves from my server load. Um, we should be loading in some images to do another test. But why do we get AB? Because of that, because it's telling you, hey, you need to optimize those images and compress them because they're too big. And the same deal goes here. Oh, let's do this one again. But again, we're still gonna get those kind of suggestions like, hey, Fix those images, compress them, and optimize them so they're actually loading faster. Even if they're offloading on a CDN like this one, they're still going to give you those suggestions because basically your site will load faster. All right, now it jumped to 74, but now it's faster. We still get that large colorful paint for 8.2 seconds. Why? Because the images, see? Server so images in the next gen format. So they're saying, you know what? Upload it in this format. You need, oh, no, I don't want to go there. You need to compress them. Um, properly sized images are not properly sized. They're just oversized images because they're not optimized, okay? Um, recommendation, I recommend you use short pixel. That one's really good. They give you compression, optimization, and they adapt the images. I'll leave that link to in the description. Okay, now, what are we gonna do? Let's go into the builder to see how it actually works. So let's go into pages. Let's go into home. We're using this one as a front page. Let's edit with Oxygen Builder. And it's fairly easy to edit your site. Now, this is not the most powerful builder out there. Let me remove that. It's not the most powerful builder out there. Um, if you're looking for a super complex and powerful builder, I recommend, for example, Divi or Elementor. But you're not going to get these page speed loads. I mean, if you're looking for a fast site and a really well-optimized site for your clients to look at so it's fast, then Oxygen Builder is the way to go. Okay, so basically they're based on blocks. These are the blocks that are available. Every time that I click on something, the options will appear on the left and we can edit them. For example, where is this link button gonna go to? Um, what is the text, uh, the text color, the hover color, everything, right? And if I click on this one, I can change the image by image URL, media library. I can browse. Um, I don't have anything because this is a completely version site. So nothing there, but basically it's a full on site. Now. What can I do with Oxygen Builder? Well, you have elements right here. So for example, in the library, we can have design sets right here. Remember, we didn't load a template from another one that they have, but maybe you want something from that section of that one. So for example, Atomic, that's what I mentioned. So in Atomic, I can load these sections right here. I can load a, a section element, for example, the contact. I can load something from there, something from the header from the heroes and titles, the people's pricing, and I can do that with other ones that they have available. For example, freelance, sections, again, footer, all these sections available. It's pretty cool because it, it saves you time to build. Now, remember we installed Oxy Ninja and I told you that, well, this will help you lighten the load and just make your workload faster because you get the core option right here, which is sections and elements, and they have a bunch of them, 160 plus sections available, for example, blog. They have these sections available right here. Call to action, contact, content, footer. Now they give you footer and headers. These manuals look really nice um, because you can load a template so they load on every single page. And I'll show you how to do that in a bit. Heroes and titles, pricing, showcase, and tabs. And if you're using uh, WooCommerce, well, you have the Woo core right here. Obviously, I don't have installed Woo on this page, so you're not gonna be able to see those, but you have the options for a nice looking uh, sales page right there. Now, let's see what else we can do with this. Let's just say you wanna load it in a section right here, for example, from Winery. Now let's actually grab one from Oxy Ninja. So let's grab this one, and let's grab another Heroes and Title. So let's just say I wanna use this one. Okay, that looks nice. All right, and it just loaded it in, and it's in the bottom. Now the easiest way to section these is to go to Structure, 
click on that and it opens up the structure right here so let's just drag it to the top okay and now we have that header and let's remove the other slider that it came by default with the other theme okay let's get rid of this and now we have that section on the top oh we didn't get rid of the slider okay got rid of the slider there and there we go it's that easy to drop in sections and just like start editing if you want for example this could be SAS master test site all right and basically that's how it works if you want to drag something like this you can also drag it um, this wouldn't be in my opinion in my honest opinion the best builder there is I wish I can drag these for example any place I want in the builder and that's not possible right here you'd have to go to advanced sections and do that all right but again we have other sections right here that we can create layout for child and all that good stuff now what happens if we want to change the header and the footer you would have to go to back to WordPress go to admin section we're not gonna save anything like, like anything on that side this is just for demo purposes okay okay and let's go back to WordPress you would do that by going to oxygen and template all right so in template, we have the main one already built right here. Let me see if it has that already. So it has the header and the footer. Because you might not like the menu on that one. The reason you edit this right here and not on the other section is because the other section is for the, what do you call it, for the, the whole page. And right here would be just for the header and the footer. So they stick, right? Any, any page that you create, it's going to use the same one. So if I wanted to add an element from the library let's go to core sign sets core and we want to go to header okay here's the header and look at these nice headers that we have available right here from oxy ninja um, let's grab this one right here okay here's the header let's get rid of this structured one okay let me see if I loaded that one header row Okay, there we go. Now we got the OxyCore header right here. Check this out. Look at that menu, how nice it looks and it changes. We can edit this. Everything's editable. You can see the structure over here on the right also if you would need to edit that. Again, we got the editor on the left for each section that we click on. And this would be to edit the header for this. Again, we got the footer on the bottom and we can change that to anything we want. For example, from the core. Uh, where's the footers? Here's the footer. So something nicer than we already got with the template. And that's available with the Oxy Ninja. So that's optional, right? If you want. If you want to build sites faster with the sections that they have available, well, Oxy Ninja is a good option to combine it with Oxygen Builder. But basically, that is how the site looks with the Oxygen Builder. It's a really good builder if you want to have super fast sites. And you will be getting better results than this if you load in the images and you use CDN. If you don't CDN, it might cost a little bit more of load, maybe 1.8 seconds, 1.9. It will depend a lot on your server speed, how that will reflect. But using CDN will load much faster because this is a lot of weight for the images. So if this images weighed about two megabytes or less than that, which would be the optional, the optimal size that would probably load the site in 1.2 seconds even maybe less than a second if you really optimize well basically that is the video for oxygen builder and oxygen ninja if you guys want to grab the deal again the link will be in the description it's not an affiliate link if you guys found this video helpful do consider subscribing and liking this video thank you for watching my name is george this is sasmaster and i'll see you guys later